Hi everybody, bonjour à tous and uh, welcome to uh, your French lesson of the day, la leçon du jour. So today I thought that we could uh, actually see des adverbes de manière because they are quite useful and not that difficult to uh, learn. So let's start with the construction, okay, la formation. So actually if you want to build a, an adverb, you've got to first use the adjective, okay, the adjective and add the masculine form, okay, so I took this uh, adjective lent, which is slow, okay, so the masculine form it's lent, L-E-N-T, okay, so right after that we'll see the feminine form of this adjective, so usually you've got to add uh, E at the end, okay, so we get lente, all right, and then the technique for the construction or formation of this adverb is that after the feminine form, so of the adjective, you just put this ment, M-E-N-T, at the end. And so the result we got is lentement, repeat, lentement, okay? And then, well, usually in French we don't really pronounce this E between T and M, so we get this pronunciation lentement, repeat, lentement. Okay, so let's see with other adjectives and adverbs. So let's take do, okay? So you will just repeat after me. Do, so it's the masculine form, okay? Do, repeat, okay? And then we'll get the, the adjective, the feminine form, it's dous, repeat, dous, okay? And then the adverb, doucement, repeat, doucement. Okay, so it's the same thing. We don't really pronounce the E uh, between C and M, okay? And then, premier, repeat, premier, okay? Première, repeat, première, okay? Premièrement, repeat, premièrement, all right. So now, certain. Okay, so we get the sound A I N, it's un, un, okay, certain, repeat, okay, feminine form it's certain, N, N, certain, repeat, okay, and then adverb it's certainement, repeat, certainement, okay, so let's see the next one. It's actually easy. <laughs> Facile is easy. And in this case, it's quite easy because the, as you can see, the masculine form and the feminine form are the same. So it's masculine facile, repeat. Feminine form is facile, repeat. Okay, and then you get facilement. Okay, next one is a bit more difficult, but not that much. So masculine form is franc. So you don't pronounce the final C, okay? Franc, repeat, okay? Feminine form is franche, okay? So I insist a little bit on the sh at the end, but it's that's the just the idea, you know, to 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 show you how you should pronounce it, okay? But then it it should be pronounced like franche, repeat, franche, okay? And then franchement, repeat, franchement, okay? Net, repeat, net, okay, and it's quite interesting because the, the feminine form is written in a different way, but it's pronounced the same way, so it's net, repeat, net, okay, and then the adverb gives you the pronunciation netment, repeat, netment, okay, and then we've got vif, repeat, vif, Okay, feminine form is vive, repeat, vive, okay, and then the adverb is vivement, repeat, vivement, okay. Be careful, because as usually in France, you know, I mean French, uh, French language, we've got some uh, exceptions, so let's take a look at a few exceptions, and uh, one of them is uh, prudent, Okay, but more generally, um, let's say adjectives that ends with a, a nt. Okay, so you will get for the adverb it's 
prudemment. Okay, and the strange thing is that you will write e m m e n t for the adverb, but then you pronounce as if there was a a. Okay, it's prudemment. Okay, prudemment. All right. So let's pronounce together. First, we'll pronounce the adjective. Okay, so it's prudent. Repeat, prudent. Okay, and then the adverb now is prudemment. Repeat, prudemment. Okay. So let's see now the second group of strange adverbs. <laughs> so uh, well, uh, they're looking a bit the 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 the, the same way, but it's a n t. Okay, pronounced the same way. It's courant. Repeat, courant. Okay, and it will transform in into couramment. Repeat, couramment. Okay, so actually the same pronunciation, but then you've got to write this a uh, for this case. Okay, so let's have a look now at the first uh, group of uh, exceptions. So it's évident. Repeat, évident. Okay, and it does give you this évidemment pronunciation. Okay, évidemment, évidemment. Repeat, évidemment. Okay. Second example for this category is violent. Repeat. Violent. And it does give us this adverb violemment. Okay, so same concept. You pronounce it like if there was a violemment. Repeat. Violemment. Okay. Fréquent. Fréquent. Repeat. And then we get fréquemment. Repeat. Fréquemment, okay. Patient, repeat. Patient, and then we have patiemment, repeat. Patiemment, okay. Récent, repeat. Récent, okay, and it does give us this récemment for the adverb. Repeat. Récemment. Okay. Inconscient. Repeat. Inconscient. Adverb. Inconsciemment. Repeat. Inconsciemment. Okay. So now it was the the second group of exceptions. So it was this ant exception, and then the uh, example we've got here is méchant. Repeat. Méchant. Okay, and it does give us for the adverb méchamment. Repeat, méchamment. Okay, courant. Repeat, courant. And the adverb is couramment. Repeat, couramment. Okay, and then suffisant. Repeat, suffisant. Adverb is suffisamment. Repeat, suffisamment. Okay, constant. Repeat, constant. Adverb, constamment. Repeat, constamment. Okay, bruyant. Repeat, bruyant. Okay, bruyamment. Repeat, bruyamment. All right. Let's hope it's clear for you. It was a pleasure for me uh, to be with you during these few minutes. So don't be afraid to watch the video again and again if it's not clear. And uh, well, we'll keep in touch. Okay, have a nice day. Bye bye.